Hello, this story is called The Thing in the Graveyard. It starts off when I was a kid. I used to live in a house that was in a crescent behind the graveyard. It was the graveyard, the creek, and then my crescent. And as I was a child, I used to play with my friends, and we weren't the best listeners to our parents. So in the daytime, we would play in the creek and the graveyard with no real rules to what we should and shouldn't do. And at nighttime on the weekdays and the summer, we also played in the creek and the graveyard. Mostly games that you would play like hide and go seek or kick the can perhaps. And then I never really saw anything too frightening in the graveyard that I used to visit so frequently in my child and teen years. The only things I saw was a few shadows, maybe a few noises here and there. Nothing that I couldn't swipe away from my mind and say it was just nothing. But one time, as I was about 15 years old, I was walking back from a friend's house. A friend's house that was across town. And as I got close to my house, to my to the graveyard behind, well, in front of my house. I decided to take a shortcut through the graveyard. And this was a mistake that I was sure to remember. Because what happened when I walked through the graveyard down the gravel road in it through the fence at the beginning was I saw a figure sitting at a grave. What kind of figure was this, you ask? I couldn't describe it very well at the time. But as I got closer, about 30 feet away, I could see its features. Its arms and legs looked almost like bone, with barely any skin on it. Its chest and stomach looked like bloated. They looked bloated as if it was a rotting corpse. And my young mind thought, it must be nothing more than a, a homeless man, a bum, a drunk, or maybe even an animal. Yes, there was that part of me that said, don't go any closer, just go back and walk the long way home. But my logical side said, uh, it's just nothing. So as I walked closer and closer, about... 10 feet away now I looked at this thing and I could tell for sure it was a human a humanoid creature I should say I could see it even clearer now its arms were almost completely bone except for a thin layer of flesh its legs were the same. Its chest and stomach were so bloated that it looked disturbing and disgusting. I didn't know what to think of it, and its hair was long and black and covering its face. So at the time, I didn't know what to think of it. I didn't know what to do. 
So I, I manned up and I thought maybe someone was in trouble. And I yelled out to it, are, are you okay? No response. As my uneasiness grew bigger, I decided I'll walk towards it and yell out one more time. Are, are you okay, I said. And it didn't respond again. So, I stopped, only for a brief second, as it cracked its head backward. And the hair moved only enough for me to see an eye. The eye was black, and what looked like tar was dripping out of it. I didn't know what to say to this, or what to do. So I kind of just froze in place. I don't know why I froze or what I was doing. I just couldn't move. And before I knew it, the thing screamed with a monstrous yell that I could only describe as a person and an animal dying in the same body. It sounded animalistic yet human. It was insane. It was so loud that it hurt my ears and made me want to close my eyes and hold my head, which I did. And then I heard a voice inside my head, excuse me, saying, were you a fool? Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes, you fool. You fool. At this point in time, I opened my eyes, and it was quite a sight that that appalled. The thing that was at the gravestone sitting just a few moments ago was now at the bottom of my feet holding on my pant leg. At this point, I could see its features even more. Its long black hair looked like it hasn't hadn't been washed in years. Its arms, so bony, so decrepit, with just a thin layer of skin on it, almost looking like cloth that was peeling off slowly. Its stomach and chest, the same way, but just bloated. The stench that came off of it was like rotting garbage that you set on fire. It was quite terrifying at the moment. But then it looked at me with both its eyes. And its face had the same kind of skin its arms and legs did. It was so gone that I could basically see its skull. But I didn't feel fear at this point. Not anymore. I felt sadness for it. Because when it looked at me, and I looked at it, it looked sad. The only way I could describe it is if, is if you ever saw an animal being abused, and then you saw the sadness in its eyes. That's what the eyes of this thing look like. So I felt overwhelmingly sad and no longer scared. I didn't know what to do. All I knew is that it was looking at me with a teethy, sharp teeth grin. With eyes that were filled with so much sadness it made my heart skip a beat. And then, it did something that I could never understood. It spoke. And I gurgly grasp the voice and it said to me please run and I and at that point my heart started to beat so fast that it felt like it was bursting out of my chest 
I turned around and I ran. As it got onto its legs and feet and started to run at me like an animal. And then it started to scream behind me, Run! 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 As I looked behind me in fear, I couldn't run any faster. I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran. Until I finally reached the gate. So close, but I looked behind me before I reached. And it was right behind me. Almost at my feet. So I did what I could only do, which was run even faster. Eventually, I did make it out of the gate. And out of whim, I looked behind me to see if it was still there. But for some reason, it was stopped at the beginning of the gate. Like it wouldn't move forward for a reason unexplained. As I looked at it sitting there like a canine would, it was smiling. No longer did it have eyes full of sadness. Its eyes were full of content and hatred for me. It just stood there looking at me and I just fell down to the ground, pain throbbing through my body. My head was hurting so bad it felt like it was throbbing with my heart. As I started to calm down, I realized that it wasn't attacking. It wasn't moving past the gate. So I slowly started to back up, watching it still. And finally, it ran back into the for it ran back into the graveyard, into the darkness of the graveyard. And me, I took the long route home. I skipped about three or four streets away from the graveyard and walked all the way home. And when I got home, my mother simply asked me, "Where were you?" And I said, just at a friend's house, not wanting to scare her. And then I went to my room and said I was going to bed. As I looked out my window that night, staring into the graveyard, I was looking closely and intensely at the graveyard. I couldn't see a damn thing. And then finally... A month or so passed, and I started to tell people my story. Some believed me, some didn't. I didn't really care much. And at the end, about a year later, we were moving. And as we were moving, on the night that we finally packed all our stuff away, finally got to the new house, before we left the old one, I looked as we were passing the graveyard on the highway and I could have swore I saw that same thing but this time standing on its two legs and trying to coax me with its hand to come into the graveyard. I just looked away and didn't say a word because I didn't want to go to the graveyard. Alright so that was uh, the thing in the graveyard, uh, for me, D-Man, uh, it's not, it's, it's like an original story that I haven't written down yet, uh, and I haven't done anything to, uh, it's kind of like a creepypasta, but, uh, not really, because, uh, uh, because, you know, it's just not, <laughs> it's, it's not real, you know, it's just a fake thing, I just wanted to see if I could, if I could scare anybody. Basically, and yeah, I'm playing Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> so that was a fake story that I just made up for fun, uh, just to see if I could scare anybody. Uh, feel free to use it. Uh, hopefully, it'll give me some credit. And if it sounds similar to another story, I, uh, I probably, I, I, I might have took some inspiration out of other stories. I don't know. I can't remember every ghost story I've read or heard about. You know, so if it does sound like one of those, so don't don't hate me for it. Uh, so you can take it. I'm not going to write it down or nothing. This is going to be the only video with it. 
I probably won't even remember it after. <laughs> it's just something I wanted to make, just to have some fun. So, yeah, that was my own little ghost story that I just made up. Uh, have fun watching it. Uh, if you want, you can use it yourself. Uh, maybe just give me a little bit of a little bit of a shout out in your video if you if you, if, if if you're watching this video and you want to make a video of it. Um, other than that, D man out. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And uh, remember, my friends, stay sane. <laughs>